Alright, what's up people? This is Sif Urian, and right now we're going to be checking out episode 8 of season 1 of Vikings. Last time, Ragnar, Rolo and the rest of the Vikings, they went into England, and the king's brother, he basically went out, took a few men, and uh, they was watching Ragnar for a while, and then they went, I guess they went and set up like a camp somewhere, but then at night, Ragnar and his people, they went in and attacked him as they slept, and they ended up taking a couple of people hostage, including the king's brother. So well, that led to this kind of like a, a kind of peace treaty where Ragnar went in, sat down, had a meal. They agreed on a, a sum of like, I think it was like £2,000 um, in weight, in gold and silver and stuff. But when they turned up at Ragnar's campsite with all the silver and stuff, it turned out there was empty. Uh, all the crates and everything was empty and, and all these men came in and attacked. Big massive battle. They all got slaughtered, of course. And... Um, Ragnar ended up sending uh, the king's brother back to him dead and uh, the king gave him some gold and swore that he would have his revenge and uh, Ragnar is set sail to go back home but back home Ragnar's wife that was bleeding like there's problems with the baby I've got a real bad feeling she's gonna have a miscarriage but we're gonna check this out man episode 9 let's do this every nine years we travel to the temple at Uppsala to give thanks to the gods and to offer them sacrifices for all they do for us for protecting us for the success in battle for the rains that they bring the grow out crops fucking deal with the face right what the fuck then my unborn son is cruelly taken from me perhaps you would prefer to stay here and worship your own god. I'll gladly come with you. Good. I would have taken you anyway. So Ragnar's wife did have a miscarriage. Shit. Again. Step up. Careful. Ragnar. Tell you what though, it would be really fucking cool to like film a show out there, man. I mean, look at that. What's gonna happen? Is it gonna be the same thing that happened with Rolo last episode? Rolo became a Christian and he has to take up, well, turn his back on God and pledge himself to fucking Ragnar's beliefs. Father, hear my prayer. Let me understand your will. Is it true that I shall have more sons like their seers says? Accept the sacrifice I plan to offer you. She said a sacrifice is going to offer it. Who will bear me, my son? When is the food ready, Helga? I'm hungry. You're always hungry. Of course I am. But not always for food. <laughs> <laughs> So when do we offer our sacrifices? At the end of the festival. And in the meantime, we celebrate the gods. He's not going to use him as a sacrifice, is he? Any way we can. <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> Come on. Drink. What is this? Those will all be killed as sacrifices. Oh, okay. For the animals. Six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine, uh, uh, nine goats and nine pigs. Th there's nine of everything. Yes. Nine of every kind. And this? It's for the humans that have been chosen. So there's going to be humans as well that's going to be sacrificed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
magic mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I think the daughter likes him. With the tree spot. Hey, spot. <laughs> Priest, I have been waiting for you. Oh, shit. Okay. <clears throat> So he's finally gonna get some here. <laughs> About fucking time, man. Right. Is he actually gonna get a piece? Or is she just prepping him to be sacrificed? Why do you do this, Terry? Don't you understand? I have to. Yeah, he's, oh shit, she's prepping him to be sacrificed. Are they really gonna kill him off? Oh shit, that's fucking, um. Oh my God, Harvey from fucking Gotham. If he's not, it's someone who really fucking looks like him. One, two, there's eight of them. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three. Come on! I want you to meet someone. Because there's nine of every animal. I want to see if there's eight people there. I accept your pledge with a glad heart. What can I do for you in return? I want to send bigger raiding parties to the West. Yes, to plunder, but also <laughs> to explore new lands. There are other lands to the West. This man has seen it. I was a Christian monk in England. I have heard of Christians and of their God. And are you still a Christian? No. Of course not. I share your appetite for new adventure, Ragnar Lothbrok. Hmm? Okay. But the question is, is he going to end up stabbing fucking Ragnar in the back at some point? Once he knows where to go and how to get there. But one day, I will be a great man. And you'll regret leaving me just because I sleep with other women. Really? If you really want to be a great man, should you not be meeting with King Horik now? What do you mean? Well, that's where your brother is now. <laughs> oh, no doubt he's already boasting about how he sailed west alone and all he has achieved alone. Wow. You see, Rolo, you need me as much as I need you. That is, if you really want to be something. <laughs> I like that. Trying to act like a big shot and really, like, no. She was married to a, to a fucking all. Like, she knows how to fucking handle shit. He is making threatening noises. And how can I be of help in such a matter? Would you be prepared to travel to Yotaland as my emissary? I can think of no one who I would rather represent my case for your fame. If the issue is settled, I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. I really hope I'm wrong about this. I really, really do hope I'm wrong. Come. Oh shit, I hope I'm wrong. I hope it's just like they are like inducting him into the like the faith and he's not being sacrificed. Have you come here of your own free will? Yes. You know why you're here, don't you? You have been brought here as a sacrifice to the gods. Oh shit, no way.
he still I have come to tell you that the sacrifice of this man will not please the gods yeah he has not renounced his false god looks like your god finally came through for you <laughs> instead <laughs> one amongst you must agree to take his place tomorrow at the sacrifice before anyone else can claim this honor I desire to be sacrificed because there's some that's going to hold the priest like responsible now I bet you Fuck me. We're gonna chop his head or just cut his throat? That was kind of fucked up, man. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling that they was going to sacrifice him. Like I said, like I weren't too sure if he was actually going to get some or... <laughs> but I'm glad that they didn't fucking take him out of the show. I really, really am. I think that there'll be some people that will actually have resentment towards Atherstone because of that. Maybe even Ragnar as well. Like Maybe Ragnar will like have some type of resentment towards him. Because he was making Ragnar believe, like, okay, I'm kind of, like, going in the ways of your laws and, and, and your religion and stuff, like, that might become a thing. Ragnar's wife as well, desperate to have another child, making all types of deals and bargains about going fucking blind and shit. <laughs> and then Rolo as well, that whole speech about how he can do whatever he wants and, and he's not going to change for anyone. And she just turned around like, no, motherfucker. Look, I can twist shit too. <laughs> I mean, she was married to an all for a long fucking time, you know what I mean? She knows how to play the fucking game, you know? It's true, man. Like, he does need her as much as she needs him, so... That was a pretty cool kind of dynamic. But the big kind of takeaway from, from this episode, just a little part. Ragnar has now uh, pledged his uh, allegiance to the king. And, um... Fucking King Harvey. <laughs> Ragnar's gonna have to go off and deal with a bit of the king's business and I guess he has to go and kill this guy now that's causing problems for the king making threats and shit so that will probably be the next episode um we're getting kind of close to the season one finale now so something's about to go off you know what I mean probably gonna have a big cliffhanger but yeah man damn good show I, I just can't believe the way it played out like it, it was very emotional like with the singing as well and the fact that he just sacrificed himself to you know for the greater good if you will you know what i mean fucking really fucking powerful but yeah give this video a thumb up if you enjoyed it comment down below let me know what you think and subscribe if you haven't already man all right i've been sifurin i'll catch you in the next one man